This is the Digitally Rebastered Network. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Falcon. Its ongoing mission, to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life forms and new YouTube subscriptions, to boldly go where no show has gone before. Greetings, Trekheads, and welcome to another episode of Trek Tracks with me, your host, Eli Williams, here in Star Trek Online. And we are doing the second installment of Meet the Captains. I'm going to try to throw one of these out there at the beginning of every month, the first Saturday of every month. So it's April, first Saturday, so here we go. Let's take a look at the ship and the crew. All right, here we are. This is the USS Paladin. It is a science spearhead, the ship which is the USS Discovery on the Discovery television series. Um, just want to take a look at it right here. Um, not, it's an okay ship. It's, it's all right. Um, I'm about as much of a fan of the ship as I am the show. The show is okay. The ship's okay. Well, I'll show you what I've done here. Uh, I do have uh, the integrity linked phasers uh, in this but I am using quantum torpedoes um, I have pretty much uh, epic or not epic but uh, I think they call it rare or something like that I don't know what their purple is but purple gear throughout um, that I have crafted on my main which you will meet eventually um, pretty good stuff uh, I do have some of the universal uh, consoles in here. Um, it does have a universal console, the uh, mycelium ambush, um, which does the Lorca maneuver, which isn't a great thing. If it is, if you can use it properly, but you don't always have the chance to use it properly. But uh, I've beefed it up, um, and it's it's a pretty decent ship. I've got um, I've got a crew here. Um, I am an engineer captain. Um, my landing party, I've got my medical officer, um, my, um, which my medical officer is an Andorian male. I have a, a male, uh, android for my science officer. I did keep the, um, tactical officer that they gave me in the tutorial for this. Um, you have to go through a whole, um, story mission, um, in the Discovery era timeline. Then you come to the current timeline. Uh, so Evelyn Savea, uh, I kept. Um, I do have all of the uniforms uh, as they are supposed to be. And then, of course, there's 6 of 12, my female Borg. Um, that's, there's Every crew has a 6 of 12. Um, they may all look different, but they're all 6 of 12. And then I've got uh, this guy, and uh, then I have a Cation... Uh, uh, male uh, Drew was originally going to be my uh, my medical, uh, but I wanted uh, I wanted an Andorian on the crew. Uh, I'm going to have more aliens on this crew. I normally don't have a whole lot of aliens, uh, but I am going to have aliens on this crew. So we are going to go to the stranded in space mission and see how this ship does and test its metal. So I'll meet you there. All right, here we are in Stranded in Space. Uh, if Any you haven't seen range, the last episode help. of Meet the Captains, um, I I choose this one to test out my weaponry and stuff on um, every time I level up and, uh, and I want to check out some new abilities. I come here uh, to this mission because it's a good mix of both space battle and ground battle. So... 
Let's go ahead and get this party started. Um... Like I said, it's, it's, this ship is okay. Um, it's not fantastic. A fantastic ship's gonna be the next Need for Captains. <laughs> Cause it has been my absolute favorite by far, but you'll just have to wait and see what that is. All right, let's take these guys out. I mean, this it's growing on me. Um, I don't like the turn radius of this ship. It's something I'm going to have to overcompensate for with um, the uh, RCS accelerators. But uh, so anyway, got to scan the uh, U the SS Azura and beam on over. Captain. All right, here we are. Now, I uh, want to show you what I've done with the crew. I'm using the phaser auto rifle, um, which is the weapons, uh, one of the weapons. I, they don't have really hand phasers uh, available in the game from this timeline, but uh, I do have every one um, decked out and equipped with one of those. This, in my opinion, is one of the most powerful uh, weapons in the game for uh, for ground missions. It, it is astounding. Um, so, let's get to it. Am I still holding my communicator? I'm still holding my communicator. The communicator glitched out. So... This is uh, just the basic. We have to fight the Orions and shut down the plasma conduits, the plasma leaks. Okay. Oh, this one over here. All right. Go back out. Down to the next one. Bring out my support drone. Okay. Shut down this leak. And we are good to go. Now, me being an engineer, the bonus thing on this mission, I'll never let after we scan the warp core, as an engineer, you can actually save the ship. Okay. All right, so we've contained the warp core, so they're not going to have a breach now. Now we got to go down here and watch the Klingons beam in. All right, they're looking like they're having a good time. All right. Okay, let's see. Let's lay down a bolt turret. And let him no have it. That the cowardly Orions cannot even handle raiding a freighter. Okay. But their call for assistance has given us a chance for glorious combat. Okay. 
Klingon situation is taken care of. Now they're going to be like, hey, we got Klingons. Yeah, Paladin, we have Klingons. All right. Get back up here for the transporters. I made my, uh, I picked an alien as a captain. I tried to make him look like a Chiss from Star Star Wars. I got like red eyes and blue skin. Uh, so, a little different. I like I like using the uh, uh, aliens um, as captains and as as bridge officers because uh, you have all of the different aspects in the character creator open to you from every alien, everything that's that's in the character creator. You have those options as an alien, so that makes things kind of fun. I'm still holding my communicator. That's so weird. Okay. Back to the ship. All right. All right. Um, now, if you know what's good for we will do the uh, on the final ship here. I'll do the Lorca maneuver so you can see what that looks like. Um, Okay, we got one coming in here. Get ready. So basically what this does is that uh, you do a jump to uh, behind them. We'll do that. Well, in this case, I'm too far away, so... And then it jumps back. And that's the Lorca maneuver. It's okay. Sometimes, if the situation is just right, you will uh, you'll do well with it. But okay, now this is the part where we, many thanks. If it we actually get them to save the ship instead of beaming them over and the ship blowing up, it actually gets away. So. There you go, and we're back out to Sector Space. All right. We'll collect our reward and get our XP. Well done. You saved that crew uh, just in time. I'll just pick the current lockbox. Okay, there you go. That is the USS Paladin, a.k.a. Giant Spearhead, the ship that is Star Trek's USS Discovery on Star Trek Discovery. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you guys for watching and tagging along with me. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Or smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastered Network. You've been watching Trek Tracks. Meet the captains here with me, your host, Eli Williams, in Star Trek Online. You guys have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time, and until then... Live long and prosper. On behalf of the Digitally Rebastered Network, I would like to thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to curse smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastered Network. You have been watching Trek Tracks with me, your host, Eli Williams. Be sure to tune in next time. And until then, I hope you all live long and prosper. This has been a DRN production.